Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to be learning how to add images to pages in Magento. Magento comes with its own inbuilt image management tool. This allows you to upload and manage images on pages and other content sections on your Magento website. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to upload and organize custom images and how to add these images to pages in your Magento system. So with that said, we're going to jump across to Magento and we'll meet you there in a few moments time. So Dave, let's get to the right section and to do that we need to go to CMS and then into pages. And from this section, this is where you can add and edit pages to your Magento website. So in our case, we're going to choose the simple page, which is company. But in your case, you could, of course, click on the add new page button in the top right hand corner. Or in fact, Dave, let's go and create a new test page. So let's go and click on add new page where we've got the page title. So this is the title of the page. So we're going to call this test page. The URL key, we're going to call that test. But obviously, if you're creating a page for an About Us page or a Contact Us page or something like that, or maybe even an information page within Magento, you'll want to change the URL key to something a little bit more useful than just test. Now, if you've got more than one store view enabled on your Magento website, then you'll end up with a box like this. Now, you can have different pages for different store views and also for different Magento websites as well. For the sake of ease, we're just going to choose all store views and we're going to make sure that the status is set to enabled. Then if you click on the content tab on the left hand side. Now, Dave, this is where things may be a little bit different for someone watching this tutorial because they may have the editor turned on like this. And from this editor, you can add images. So if you see the editor like this, Click on the button which says show hide editor and you'll come back to a plain text version where you get this extra button on the right hand side which says insert image. Now me and Dave have just been chatting in the background and actually I'm wrong. You can add images from this editor but for us to explain to you that you need to go and press the image icon and then press this extra little icon on the right hand side to get into the media storage section isn't really straightforward. So that's why we're suggesting click on the show hide editor and then just click on the insert image button because it's just one button. Does that make sense, Dave? Yeah, absolutely. One button instead of four is always the best route to go. Indeed. So if you now click on insert image, you're going to have the media storage section appear on your screen. Now, it is worth noting is that if you've got a red warning up here saying that the directory is not writable, just Google that error message and you'll find one of our other video tutorials on YouTube, which will show you how to resolve that. Now, before we go and add images willy nilly into Magento, what we're going to suggest is that you create folders to manage your images. So if you click on create folder, now we need to give this folder a name. So I'm gonna call this banners and then click on okay. Can you see on the left hand side, we've got a new folder called banners and we can now add images in here. And of course you can carry on and create subfolders or go back to the storage route and add folders which make sense for you and your images. Now to upload files is really easy and there's only one mistake which you can make which is to forget to press the upload files button and trust me even I forget to do that so I'm going to pause and highlight on that button for you so you don't make that mistake too. If you click on the browse files button you'll get a pop-up window where you can go and choose images off your desktop. So in our case we're going to go and choose two banners on how to design a Magento website for just $99, which Dave, that just so happens, is one of the courses on the Understand the New website. I know, what are the chances of that happening? It's Indeed. so unusual. <laughs> so with that said, we've got those selected and then click on open. And it's critically important that you press the upload files button. If you don't press this button, then your images won't be uploaded to Magento. 
Once they have been uploaded to Magento, select the image, and the moment you click on an image, you get these extra buttons. So you, you can then delete the file if you wanted to, or probably much more desirable, if you click on Insert File, you'll then see that you've got the image tag and you've got the image name which has been inserted into our product page. Now, of course, you could go on and then add in your own HTML in here. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, we're keeping it really simple. So we're just going to go and press Save Page at the top. Now, we created a test page. So where it says Title, I'm going to type in Test. And then I'm going to press Enter on my keyboard. Now, of course, you could have pressed Search on the right-hand side. And also remember to reset this search. You can click on Reset Filter. Now let's go and preview that page by clicking on the preview link on the right hand side. So we click on preview, a new window will open. And there we go, Dave. That's how we can add images to static pages on our Magento website. That was nice and easy. I was going to say, was that nice and straightforward? I like these ones which are nice and straightforward. Indeed. So for myself, Matt. And for me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt, and me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.